Hi guys, and welcome to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today is all about ducking, reverb and delays, which you can build very easily from scratch in Studio One. Check it out. All right, so I have a dry vocal here, and let's say that I want to add some reverb and delay to that. Now then, I'm here, please don't push me away. So as you probably know, that's super easy to do in Studio One. We simply open up the browser over here, and then we just head up to the Effects tab. And it's as easy as selecting something like the Room Reverb and dragging that onto the Sense section of this vocal. If I drag it to the Insert section, then it's just being added as an effect, processing the entire signal. But if you're setting it to the Send section instead, then this channel is sending onto a separate channel that has a room reverb on it, which allows you to EQ the room reverb in a different way. So you could, for example, low cut the room reverb without low cutting the entire vocal. You can also do some amazing ducking reverbs and delays if you're using effect channels. And that's what we're going to look at right now. Now that I'm here, please don't push me away. So you can hear that this vocal is having a lot more ambience and stereo width to it now, but you can clearly hear that the room reverb is kind of unnatural. Um, it sounds very artificially placed on top. So one way to deal with this is through creating a ducking reverb. Let me show you what that is. So ducking reverb essentially means that as the vocal is in effect, the room reverb will be reduced in volume. And as soon as the vocal stops, that's when the reverb gets amplified and pushed to the front again. And this can be very, very useful to create a huge but still naturally sounding reverb. So all we need to do is just add a compressor directly behind the room reverb. And the great thing is this compressor will now only affect the reverb portion of this vocal, not the entire vocal. And then we want to go to the sidechain box in the compressor and select the main vocal as compression source. This means that instead of listening to the own reverb volume, the compression threshold will now react to the actual vocal volume. So when the vocal is in effect, the reverb is ducked down in volume and as the vocal stops, it regains the full volume again. Now that I'm here, please don't push me away. Now that I'm here, please don't push me away. This already sounds a lot more natural. Um, you especially notice the effect with longer reverbs. Now that I'm here, please don't push me away. Now that I'm... Right? And when it's off? Now that I'm here, please This is way too much, right? So you notice how the compressor behind the reverb is really maintaining the clarity of the vocal, but also keeps it natural even if we go a little bit overboard with very long reverb times. And this is especially true when we also add a delay on top. Let me show you. So without this ducking compressor, now that I'm here, please don't put this completely muds up the clarity and you can barely understand the vocal anymore. But as soon as the ducking compressor is in the picture, it keeps the volume of these effects down as the original vocal is singing, so the clarity is maintained. But once the vocal actually stops, that's also when the gain reduction stops, so we really get this nice reverb delay tail at the end of every phrase. Now that I'm here, please don't push me away. So definitely try it out. It's super easy to create your own ducking reverbs and delays from scratch in Studio One. They will maintain the clarity of your vocals and other signals, but still give you that amazing feeling of stereo width.